So welcome to another fabulous, fantastic, epic or show of my Orgasmic Life Park podcast. I am your hostess with the mostest, Gaia Morissette. And today's show is brought to you by Tickle.life. All right, let's get into our conversation. Nudism, being a naturalist, frolicking naked, they is the most, one of the most amazing things in the world as a, you know, as a nudist. Um, you know, I showed up with the shirt on for you though, because <laughs> Facebook's all like, woo. <laughs> But nothing says that I'm wearing pants. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Okay. So I wanted to talk about, because a lot of people seem to be asking me a lot of questions and seem to be really fascinated about my nudist lifestyle and how does that work? And people have all these questions. So I was going to, I decided to do a show on like the ins and outs, the, the safety, the, the 101, um, on how to be a nudist safely. So the first question always happens is, how do you make sure you don't sunburn your private bits? This is very important. No one wants a burnt nipple. No one <laughs> wants a burnt penis. Nobody likes burnt labia. <laughs> okay. Your sensitive parts need to be protected. Now, there's a couple different things. So, um, very important to understand that um, there's a couple spots that newbies always forget to put sunscreen on. The crack of your butt. All right, they always forget it. And you can tell when a newbie's been at the nudist resort because the next day they got this like red streak um, you know, where the ass meets the, you know, the back. Um, so you always know that, ah, uh, newbie forgot to, <laughs> forgot to lube that spot up with the sunscreen. So whatever your, and, and if you've, ne if you haven't exposed your bits, you know, um, to the sun, then you always want to be extra, extra, extra. <laughs> Yes, we're going to get into that about watch where you're sitting in a moment. That's going to be the next on our agenda. <laughs> right? You always want to make sure that you are extra, extra aware of protecting those spots with sunscreen. So you already know what your sun sensitivity is. Like for me, I'm super, like I burst into flames if I'm in the sun. So I spend a lot of time being a shady nudist. I'm always in the shade. Before I go outside, I lube myself up from top to bottom. I have somebody else put stuff all over my back so that I can make sure that I do not burn. Because it's not fun to burn any part of your body, but it's definitely not a good time to burn your nipples. Okay? So, sun awareness, sun protection. Sun hats, also a really good thing to keep, you know, uh, the sun off of your face. So all the things that you would normally do when you go to the beach, you want to do that for your skin and sun protection, but just double it for your exposed bits that have never been exposed to the sun, okay? Um, also, when we, we start talking about, you know, rubbing um, sunscreen on our genitals, it's really important that you have one that's for children. Get a child-proof um, sunscreen because that will help to make sure that you don't have some kind of weird reaction um, to the sunscreen because it's more it's more in line with the sens more sensitive skin. And do not put, you know, do not put sunscreen on the inside of your labia, um, you know, because it's going to cause problems with the mucous membranes. Okay, all right, so that's sunscreen. Next on our agenda of things that you need to be paying attention to when you are frolicking naked outside is bug bites. <laughs> All right. How do you make sure that you private parts don't get bitten? So there's a couple of things. So like I'm in Canada, in Ontario, and so we have really, we have a couple different 
biting bugs. But, you know, the big one is mosquitoes and um, black flies. And let me tell you, it is not a good time when you get a mosquito bite on your labia, or it's not a fun time when you get a mosquito bite on your nipple, and it's not a fun time. I've been told it's not a fun time when you get a mosquito bite on your <laughs> um, balls. And because now it's itchy and you're out in the world and you're scratching your genitals and people think you have craps. <laughs> prevent this as much as you possibly can. So a couple different ways that I've found over the years have been really helpful is like, first of all, you can't spray bug spray on your genitals. Uh, you can't have bug spray on your hand and touch your genitals. It's owie, 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 Bernie, 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 run for the nearest washroom and wash things off. Okay. So your genitals do not like bug spray. It's number one. So what I found has been really powerful is that there are some like essential oils that you can use like tea tree, lavender, there's a couple different ones, citrus um, ones that you can use to help to uh, discourage the mosquitoes from your skin. Now it's really important though that certain citrus essential oils and make sure you do your research um, can make you more sensitive to the sun. So that's an important piece to be aware of. Like you don't want to have like a sun reaction, but yet, yay, you don't you're not being bitten by mosquitoes, right? So you <laughs> so it's important. Um, another thing that I found has been really helpful is to uh, put incense sticks around where I'm lounging so that that smoke seems to help to keep the bugs away. You can also get the mosquito, um, you know, zappers. You can, um, you can get mosquito, um, you know, those, those citronella mosquito away uh, smoke things that you can put under your lounger or around your lounger. Um, you know, you can spray what I found if, if I'm somewhere where, you know, it's not really convenient to have, you know, kind of things burning around me, citronella candles, that kind of stuff. Then what I'll do is I can spray the underside of my, oh, this is... you got some good ideas there, Tom. <laughs> You can spray underneath your uh, lounger, um, so that's really important. Um, then what that does is that by spraying under the lounger, the, again, it, it becomes a deterrent. But at the end of the day, you are outside and you are in nature, so unless you are surrounded in a mosquito netting bubble, you are not 100% protected. But these are some of the tips that I found have been helpful. All right, moving on to, yes, things like <laughs> poison ivy. <laughs> You need to know what poison ivy looks like. If you're going to frolic through the forest, you're not at a resort, but you're going frolicking through the forest, um, make sure you know what poison oak and poison ivy look like and avoid that at all costs. <laughs> right? Okay. Next on the things around safety is watching where you sit and not only watching where you sit, but always making sure that you have a towel with you, a towel or a sarong or a blanket. Um, you do not put your bum on any surface without having a barrier. Think of it like safe sex. It's like nudism 101. It's not okay. It's a breach of huge protocol. I don't want to sit where you had your genitals rubbing up against. It's just, it's just common, it's just common courtesy, right? So when you're sitting, before you sit, make sure you have a towel, make sure you have some barrier, okay? Also, never borrow somebody else's towel unless they've given you permission to do so. And, and I say this because I've seen this happen. <laughs> I don't want you to borrow my towel and you know, rub it all over your junk. <laughs> I'm going to dry my face off with that later. <laughs> so it's not good etiquette, not good etiquette. Uh, 
Okay, so the big ones. Here are the next two big ones that are super important. You ready? What happens if I get a boner? This is like one of the number one questions that I get all the time. You know, I'm going to be excited about seeing naked people and, you know, and I might get a boner. So we all understand that arousal happens when arousal happens and there's nothing wrong with arousal and, and you getting a boner. However, what's not okay with it is touching it, stroking it. Um, and, uh, sticking it in people's face. <laughs> That's not okay either. We're not at a swingers event. <laughs> we are not a swingers event. We are at the nudist resort, right? Totally two different worlds, okay? So very, very, very important that if you do get a boner, no biggie, or maybe it is biggie. <laughs> no judgment. Sorry know myself <laughs> you just very conveniently either roll over on your stomach until <laughs> your boner passes put a towel over you know just drape a towel over you while you have your boner until the boner passes that's it no big deal no one cares no one's you know you're not going to get in trouble for you know getting a boner as long as you're respectful with your boner meaning you're not showcasing it <laughs> you're not like, oh, look at me. And you're just like standing, you have like the towel dangling from it, and you're doing a little penis dance. Yeah, that, that's not acceptable at the Nunes Resort. <laughs> okay. Maybe the Swingers Resort, but not definitely not the Nunes Resort. All right. The next question that I get often asked is, you know, what if I have my period? And I'm at the Nunes Resort. How, how do I handle that? Because you got to be naked especially, you know, depending on what the rules are, but most, a lot of swingers resorts um, and places have a rule that you must, there's certain spots that you must be naked. And often it's around the pool area or in the pool. So what do you do when you, when you have your period? Well, I highly recommend that if you wear tampons, you just pop your string up in you, all right? No big deal. You know, always kind of check before you get out of the pool, you know, do a hand check, you know, make sure that you're, you know, your wick, <laughs> as you know, some people in my world call it, um, your tampon string is not dangling out. Um, when you leave the bathroom, same thing, just do a, a thing. Um, if you wear a, a cup, um, so just make sure that, you know, you, and you have a pretty good idea of your body of whether or not it's going to be like, you know, running down your legs. So I would recommend making sure before you go in the pool, you go, you empty it out, you clean it, make sure it's in the right position. Then you can go into the pool. Um, and when you're done in the pool, you know, just go back into the bathroom and make sure everything's, you know, hunky dory. Um, you can also, when you're typically, when you're walking between, you know, your seat and the bathroom or the, you know, you're walking around, it's okay for you to be wearing a, a sarong or um, a towel um, underneath you. Um, and then I would just make sure that you bring just in case, cause you don't want one of those embarrassing, uh, moments that, you know, no one really wants that. Um, it's just make sure that you bring, you know, that you're using a red towel, um, that you're laying on so that in case something does happen, it's no big deal. Like it's not an issue and you know, you're leaving any, you know, blood stains behind or any of that kind of stuff, right? So that's, that's the other piece around, you know, how do you be a nudist while you're on menstruation? All right, what else? Oh, super important. If you're going to a buffet, make sure you got a bottom on. Nobody wants anybody's wieners dragging through, you know, the potato salad <laughs> or anybody's pubes in the potato salad. So make sure you got a wrap around your bottom half. <laughs> okay. Knuckle. <laughs> Knuckle. <laughs> All right. So we covered sunscreen. We've covered uh, bug bites. We've covered boners. 
we've covered poison ivy, we've covered, um, you know, what you have your period, we've covered the buffet, uh, anything, anybody have any other questions that like are like, ooh, I always want to go, but I'd never know about this. So I'm going to open up the, open up the floor to if anybody has any questions for me. All right, I guess not, that's okay. You have any questions, uh, you can always privately message me those questions. All right, I think that covers all the pieces. Um, oh, actually barbecuing naked. So there's a couple of things like cooking bacon and barbecuing naked, you know, um, you, know you gotta be very careful um, on how that gets negotiated, like how safe you are. So I would have like a little, you know, like a little apron um, to protect my bits in case of spitting. Um, bonfires, naked bonfires, which I have all the time, um, but it's like a kind of a high risk activity. <laughs> you just have to be super vigilant. <laughs> You're like always like this. If you hear crackling and you're like hearing a pop, you're ready to like bolt at any given moment, right? Or protect your junk, protect yourself. Um, you know, that's a, that's an important piece. Um, <laughs> naked fires, right? Uh, if you have pubic hair, don't stand too close to the fire. <laughs> Uh, oh, how about pool sanitation? So, uh, like a lot of, like the, res for example, the resort that I go to and spend most of my time at, they are super on top of vigilance on the, you know, chemicals um, that will kill any EBGBs, um, any bacteria, anything that's going on. Um, however, that being said, depending on how sensitive your ecosystem of your genitals, like for, you know, your vaginal canal, that kind of stuff. Um, I tend to stay out of the, the hot tubs and the conversation pools um, just because there's like a smaller concentration of water and there's more people in that water and um, the, the chemicals kill all the major stuff, but because I have such a delicate ecosystem, um, my vagina doesn't usually like it. Plus there's also a higher concentration of chemicals, pool chemicals and stuff like that. So again, that agitates my skin. So um, that's my personal preference, but I do know that they are all in accordance to health and safety anyways here in Ontario. And uh, yeah, so there you go. That was a good question by the way, by the way. And thank you everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me and thanks for loving what I do and, and talking about that. Let's talk about that for a second. I love you guys and you love me, right? That, that seems to be the relationship that we have going on. Um, you know, it would really be nice if you could like buy me a coffee every once in a while. <laughs> support, support the work that I do, you know, um, and not only by supporting me, it allows you to get a better and a deeper interactiveness with me through my Patreon account. Um, so, you know, please look at, you know, supporting my Patreon account. It gives you a lot of bonuses. You get a lot of free content. You get a lot of great things. But at the bottom line, at the end of the day, what that does is it supports my abundance. It supports my ability to, you know, keep showing up for you, keep talking about what I talk about, keep inspiring the world. So help me do that. Help me be a part of that experience. All right. Help me. Help me. So I'm going to put my, you know, my Patreons in my show notes and I'll put it in the, you know, the feeds and, you know, there's links everywhere. So all you have to do is click on it and, you know, buy me coffee, you know, as simple as that. All right. So that's it. That's all for today's show. I hope everybody learned lots and everybody's like, yeah, I'm ready to go frolic naked. <laughs> 
I got my naked survival kit. <laughs> a towel, bug spray, sunscreen, <laughs> a wrap, <laughs> right? some essential oils. And um, so a couple of different things, housekeeping things. All right, so first and foremost, you're amazing. Second, I'm amazing. <laughs> Third, you want to spend more time with me, you can find me on all the social media platforms under Gaia Morissette and Empress Gaia for all of your sexual wellness needs. You can find me at succulentliving.com for all of your BDSM education and needs. You can find me at um, empressguide.com. And let's see what else. Uh, don't forget my Patreon. And... Oh. I'm also the host of Tickle Dot Life's podcast, where, so if you like being a voyeur and you like listening to juicy stories about people's lives, um, I interview sex experts about their lives, what their lives look like. Um, so go check us that out. And don't forget to upload, download, uh, watch, listen to my YouTube channel, watch, listen to my podcast on Spotify, Apple, Google, all the places that podcasting show, you know, platforms are. And I have an app. That's right. My Orgasmic Life has its own app that you can download from Google Play. And uh, you can take me with you everywhere. So you never miss me. And whenever you're like, oh, I need a Gaia fix. Because <laughs> who doesn't need a Gaia fix on a daily basis? <laughs> you can just press it. Press your little icon on your app, on your phone. It's like, got yeah, time. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> All right. I love you. Mwah. That's it. That's all. Until our next show, have a juicy day and may it be filled with frolicking naked outside. And don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Bye-bye.